Hello and welcome to another Dave Campbell's Texas Football Talking Point where your internet friends Greg Tepper and EJ Holland. We're here to talk about the, of course, the defending Big 12 champion Baylor Bears, just like we thought we'd be saying a year ago, right? We knew we'd <laughs> yeah. be coming into 2013 talking about the, the defending champion Baylor Bears. And the big question on everybody's mind is, is this legit? Was last year, you know, a, a sign of things to come or was it, was it more of a flash in the pan? The question is, EJ, is Baylor here to stay? I think Baylor's built to last. I really do. I think with the way Art Browse has recruited in Texas, I mean, most of that team, if not all of it, is from Texas. He's done a tremendous job uh, establishing inroads within the state. Uh, players really respect him and look up to him. You obviously have McLean Stadium. So it seems all the Baylor's really getting behind Art Browse in this program. And I think they're poised to contend with Oklahoma for another Big 12 title. I think if they keep winning, more and more recruits are going to want to keep going to Baylor. I think that's a really solid option for them now. I think it's funny that the one thing in college football is that success just breeds more success. You've got to get over the hump that first time. And so you talk about a guy like Robert Griffin III when he came from Copper's Cove to Baylor. That was a really big get for Baylor. It was an important get, and obviously he wins a Heisman. He was terrific there for the Bears. That's kind of becoming the norm now. You know, they've turned that program into a cool program, which is now the currency for a lot of recruits. You look at what Oregon's doing and what, what A&M is doing. You need a cool program, and all of a sudden, Baylor's a cool program that's getting a lot of big-name recruits. I, I think you're absolutely right. I think they are built to last. Uh, the, the question really is going to be what they do in the next couple of years uh, to maintain that success, because if, if you fade off now, people might just say, oh, well, that was just that one time. Yeah, well, like I said, I think Art Bros has done a, done a tremendous job on the recruiting trail. So I think he's built for the future. I think, like I said, this year they're going to contend for a Big 12 title. I think they're going to be built to contend for many more Big 12 titles. It all starts with recruiting, and Art Bros has done a great job. And I think Baylor, again, is built to last. Okay, putting you on the spot here. In the next, over the next 10 years, let's say, assuming the Big 12 stays together in the next 10 years. How many Big 12 championships are we talking about for Baylor? Ooh, that's a tough one. I know. Listen, <laughs> hey, I don't ask the easy questions here. I mean, it's obviously it's tough when you have uh, Charlie Strong in Texas. It's going to be interesting to see what he does, Oklahoma. But I'm going to say Baylor wins half. I'm going to say five. Wow. Okay, that is uh, that is bold. I'm going to say I'm going to say they get I'm going to say they get two more, two more two in the next more. ten years, okay. just because Oklahoma, Texas, Oklahoma yeah. State's a yeah. tough com it's a tough conference. Not even to mention if TCU makes a big comeback, but I think we're in agreement. I think Baylor is definitely built to last. Well, yep. that's going to just about do it for us. Make sure you log on to TexasFootball.com to get all your information for the state of football. For EJ Holland, I'm Greg Tepper. We'll see you.